torpedo, a cigar-shaped self-propelled underwater missile designed to be fired from a ship or submarine, or dropped from an aircraft to explode on reaching a target. Or, as the jailbreak player base calls it, the soap bar. It's one of, if not the most controversial vehicle in Jailbreak. Added back in OG Season 2 of Jailbreak, it was claimed to be one of, if not the fastest vehicles in Jailbreak. Everything came crashing down with the addition of speedometers to Jailbreak. Players were shocked to find out that the brulee travels over 100 miles per hour faster. Thus, the multi-year controversy of the Jailbreak torpedo begins. Further complementing the torpedo, players could not pit maneuver whatsoever. Back then, speed was the main priority and most important factor in deciding which vehicle to purchase. Fast acceleration simply didn't matter as much if there was no way to stop the torpedo. Deemed the fastest vehicle in Jailbreak during its initial release, the torpedo was extremely hyped up. Even when it hadn't gone limited, it was infrequent and challenging to obtain. Reaching level 30 in OG Season 2, especially with the additional $750,000 price tag. Many players attempted to grind for this car, perhaps even the birth of the modern hyperchrome grinding method, hitting as many stores as possible instead of focusing on grinding for cash. The season system back then was weird, or at least quite different. There were two different leveling systems, one on the cop team and the other on the criminal team. There were no contracts or requirements to grind XP, Playing the game as intended would have granted you XP. For instance, on the cop team you'd gain XP for arresting criminals and flying through the rings that came out during the plane update, to name a few. On the other hand, as a criminal you'd have to rob stores, kill cops, and collect airdrops. So back then, the arachnid was the torpedo's police team counterpart. Both had the exact requirements and price tag, though the arachnid is arguably rare. Even today, most players don't play on the police team, Technically speaking, the arachnid should be rarer and demanded. But then came Season 3. After the torpedo had been made limited, players with the vehicle could use the mobile garage to spawn the vehicle. Even without level 30, players could purchase the vehicle for a measly 750 grand. Quite a lot for the time, but still, it was game-breaking. I purchased the torpedo back in Season 2 and spent countless hours grinding for the vehicle. Quite frankly, I was highly frustrated by the lack of action Badimo took. Thousands of players purchased the vehicle, and Bedemo took a long time to patch this bug. Bedemo has since patched this bug for all limiteds and prospective future ones, but there's no turning back. From 2018 to mid-2021, nothing much changed. Despite the addition of newer vehicles, the torpedo remained supreme and stayed one of the fastest. The torpedo then, more than ever, was the most desired and wanted vehicle. But then the 2021 winter update the addition of the speedometer. Pure chaos. Okay, not really. But the community came to the shocking revelation. The torpedo was not the fastest vehicle. The vehicle's demand took a slight hit, but players eventually agreed on the consensus that speeds that high were hard to achieve and maintain. Then came the next serious event, jailbreak trading. Since its release almost half a year ago, trading has wholly changed jailbreak. Probably not as bad as Adopt Me, but it's easy to find scammers, lowballers, players that expect insane overpays, and spammers. And more or less, the group of players that expect overpays are the torpedo owners. It's pretty hard to pinpoint how or when this gradually occurred, but the torpedo's value skyrocketed. It has since dropped slightly, but its sheer demand in the player base simply cannot be expressed in words. Objectively viewing the vehicle, it's not wrong whatsoever. But with all controversies, there are multiple sides to each story. Some players hate the vehicle, others love it, others do not mind it, others like it, and others dislike it. One of, perhaps if not the most valuable vehicle in Jailbreak, it seemed like nothing could stop it. Right? Based on the Jesco, the new limited 929 grand Javelin has been strategically released on the fifth day of the five days of vehicle update. Made public during the weekend and only available for a mere 48 hours, it's safe to say Badimo's planning, especially in making the vehicle so demanded, will result in a massive surge of players in the next day or two. The torpedo's newer and better sibling, the Jesco's attention to detail, striking looks, 
and animated butterfly doors with sliding windows make it perhaps the most detailed vehicle in-game. This outmatches the torpedo with only a 7 mile per hour difference in speed and better braking. The Javelin will definitely impact the torpedo's trading value in some way or another, whether you like it or not. Its insane attention to detail, performance, and statistics make it an extremely viable rival, perhaps even more so than the original torpedo. Its short two-day availability period, complemented by how Roblox had an outage, makes it just as rare and limited as the torpedo. One of the fastest and oldest hypercars in Jailbreak, the torpedo is one of the most highly valued vehicles in-game. So it has now been overtaken and overshadowed by newer counterparts such as the Bayonet and Javelin, the Torpedo holds a special place in the community. Whether you love or hate this vehicle, you must admit it's something special.